What's up guys, it's Alien Jake. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be taking out the seat and replacing it with a single bucket seat. So we have been hard at work on the van lately. Things are really starting to come along. Today, we're gonna to be doing something we've been putting off or waiting for parts on, I should say, for quite a while. So we're gonna be replacing this bench seat with a bucket seat. It's been very hard to find these seats. We got one from Salvage. Uh, it had the airbag blown, so we ordered an airbag into the dealership. It was about $300. And then our friend Shiwi uh, sewed it up for us, so it's, Looking amazing. So today we're gonna to cover our floors, clean up the van a little bit, uh, disconnect the sensors, disconnect the battery, uh, pull the seat out, and then hopefully put the new one in. And because of the sensors we bought, the airbag, uh, the computer should be happy with the airbags, but we'll walk you through it as we go. Besides needing the seat and needing the airbag, which we had, you have to get a seat occupancy sensor. You're removing the middle seat on the vehicle and the vehicle needs to still think there's a middle seat there or else your airbags won't work. Not only that, you need to have a seatbelt pretensioner so that the vehicle thinks the seatbelt is there as well. If you do all of these things right, you connect the airbag, you connect the seatbelt and you connect the sensor, you should have working airbags in your van and a bucket seat. The ProMaster battery is located under the driver's seat. So you just gotta stick a screwdriver in or a penny, turn these, and you'll find your battery. And it's just that easy. So you need to disconnect your battery negative, take off this cover, disconnect the battery positive, and then you should be safe to disconnect your airbags. We can drive. Okay, battery's been disconnected. Now we're going to unplug all the connections, undo the seat, and see what we have to work with. So here's what it looks like under the seat. I believe this is for the seat belt. So you have these two connections, which you have to replace, and then one of these guys right here. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can turn this. That white guy is the seat occupancy sensor. We're going to remove all of the connections, pull, um, unbolt the seat, pull it out. Then we're going to put our new seat in, reconnect the um, airbags up, reconnect the occupancy sensor, and then we're going to plug in a blank occupancy sensor and a blank seatbelt to trick the vehicle into thinking there's still a seat there. And if that all works, we should have a lovely working seat. Seats loosely bolted in. Now we're gonna hook everything back up, power it up, 
and see how it works. Buy an occupancy sensor for the middle seat. It'll be linked in the description below. So then what you do is take the seatbelt uh, tensioners out, but leave the buckle part itself. Um, put one buckle on the new seat and put one uh, just hanging out under the seat, plugged into the old spot. Plug your occupancy sensor into the white and then plug the other connectors in. Uh, this, our seat was actually missing the black connector, so I cut it off our old seat and put it on this one and it worked. Orange is your airbags, yellow is your seat belt. And then these guys are just gonna have to store under the seat, tucked away, and that's where they will live for the long run. Moment of truth. What do we got going on here? Doors are open. Uh, let's close the sliding door. Oh. Okay, sliding door is closed. Let's not kick the battery. What's going on here? Okay. Won't start, probably because the battery isn't properly hooked up. Let me fix that and we'll try again. airbags you can see here's where we stuck our seatbelt uh, pretensioner it folded up and stuck in beautifully on the curve of the pedestal beside that we have our occupancy sensor and our seatbelt sensor um, all the other cords and connections are right in here you can see on the other side, it's not really a whole lot. We got some wires tucked up under the seat. Make sure you leave enough room for the seat sliders so that when you go forward or backwards, you have a full extension. And then tuck the rest of your cables in this beautiful little seat pedestal. Black zip ties are your friends. They will hide everything quite nicely. And as you can see, beautiful. As an added bonus, you can still fit your tire jack and spare tire kit right under the seat. Well, uh, I hope you guys like that. The process was um, a lot of planning, a lot of research, and uh, a little tricky to figure out what parts I needed. But after I had that, the actual install was super easy. It only took like an hour or two. And the hardest part of that whole thing was rebuilding the seat because I'd taken the sliders and pedestal off. So, um, if you guys want to do this, it is pretty easy, it works, and Haley and I will see you guys next time.